comments. All right, it is live. Hey guys, we're live and it's Saturday night. <laughs> I, <laughs> good, I good, good job. <laughs> we bring it I'm again. pulling up comments here, just real quick. Oops, turn, turn down my volume. Quick, quick, turn the volume down. <laughs> How do you pull up comments? From the bottom. Live chat. Bam. There we are. Okay, so Zeb has finally agreed to let me paint um, a door, and we're going to fit it to our pantry. We have to re we're going to be repainting all the doors and taking them off anyway, so we'll take that one off, repaint it, stick it in the storage room, and when we move out, we'll stick it back. <laughs> Yeah, and we're going to have to do some organizing because this door has glass on it. And I'm going to do, what am I going to put on there? Did you decide what you wanted me to stencil on there or, or paint on there? We keep food here. <laughs> Just I don't know. That is for sure. The we're going to is... hand paint something on there. Probably it's going to say pantry because that's kind of there you go. the thing. Or way we'll to, just leave it plain. Way to keep it classy. Yeah, we could make something <laughs> that says fresh pie is baked daily, but we don't do that. We could start. Baking fresh pies daily. And then I'll have to buy you bigger pants. So yeah, that's, a, that's a whole other story if I have to start buying you bigger pants. <laughs> well, let me, I'm going to show them the pantry real quick, the okay. state of the pantry. That's kind of, it's kind of. You guys always like it when we're real, right? So we got the floors done and then immediately moved everything back in here. And it's on the floor and the shell not organized. And there's a lot of dry goods and some fruits and stuff. And we're going to make it real kind of awesome. I'm going to redo the shelving. This door is going to go away and this new door will be right here with the glass window on it. And we've had like this industrial shelving unit that the microwave sits on and it's industrial. It's, it's like it's plastic. gross. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it for free. Well, and I'm thinking I'm going to Oh, she's going out of business. She's just not Well, she was going out of the market. Business. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. No, Brooke's not going out of business. Brooke is awesome. She's got a really busy Instagram store. So she gave us oh. this because she didn't need it. Here, I'm going to bring them over and you show them what we're going to do with the solution for the two holes. Because I believe this used to be a uh, exterior door. Oh, oh, for sure. It was Can an exterior see? door. So they had one door for the knob. and Well, well that would have been like the deadbolt. Yeah, but yeah, the deadbolt was here and the knob was here. So we're just going to take this old keyhole thing and put it the wrong direction. It's supposed to go sideways down, down over way. like the bottom. Would well, you been... could actually just put it this way. It, it wouldn't look horrible. I think it would look uh, better like that than it would having the lock the wrong direction. I feel like the lock's all right. We'll figure it out. But we're going to paint it and cover it up somehow. And we're going to put a knob here. Yeah, we've got some, I couldn't find my knobs tonight. I've got a whole bin of them somewhere. We how's, got knobs. How's that look? And we have a whole back. bunch of doors that I have saved that someday I'm going to do something with. And this kind of went, went in that pile. We've had it for, I don't know, four or five months. We checked the paint. It's not lead. Don't worry. I was going to tell you. We did a lead-based test yeah. the other day, so we're good with that. It's not lead-based. You can pick up lead test kits at um, Home Depot. And we're going to seal over it after we paint it, too. So even if it was lead-based... Well, if it was lead-based, we wouldn't want to have it in the house with paint chipping off onto the floor. Yeah, we'd want to get rid of all of the chipping paint before we put it in the house. But we're just going over it with... What is this? Oh, little black dress and DIY. Etch the glass. I'm not a glass etcher. I thought we could frost it, and then you won't be able to see in the pantry. And then I won't have to organize the pantry. <laughs> but Zeb said no. I'll do like a big old. But you're gonna be in teeth. charge of keeping the pantry clean, right? Oh, you're you've been working out. Shh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> All I, right, we're gonna start putting some paint on here now. <laughs> sorry, it, it's also date night for us. So, all right, so we're using DIY in little black dress. The DIY paint is all natural, low VOC. Um, so it's not. It, it's not going to smell up our house. It actually smells like pottery. It smells like clay, not like pottery. It smells like clay. I don't know if you've ever done much potting. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. No potting. We're family channel. Um, the, what was I going to say? Oh, so little black dress. DIY paint has two blacks. This is the blacker black, but when it dries, it's going to be like a dark, dark gray because all of the DIY paints, because they're clay based, when they dry, they dry lighter than they'll be when you seal them. In fact, I got an email from a customer the other day that they were using Carnival and it was hot pink once it dried and he did another coat and it was still hot pink and that is because when you seal them, they turn the color they're gonna be. So that's important thing to know. If you're buying paint from us for the DIY paint, 
that it will get light, it will lighten up, and then when you seal it, it'll get dark again. So, Jamie's looking at comments, but before she does that, if you guys want to know how to hang this door, I'm going to do an entirely separate video on how to trim the side and hang it that way, and, and we'll probably have a separate video of me doing the art on the glass too, just because the layout on that can take a minute, and I'm not super great at it, but I'll show you how I'll I I'll probably do just it. cut you some vinyl. Well, there you go. That'll take you about That'll three seconds. That'll be easy enough. I have a silhouette. So somebody said they love the white. I love the white too, but if I just left the chippy white, it would go completely away. And I went on Pinterest and I saw this chippy black door and I was like, oh, I love that. Yeah, we're gonna bring some of the white back. And it'll be chippy. So we did not sand or clean this door at all. Because when we're done, I'm gonna take the orbital and everywhere where the paint was chipping, the black will chip off and the white will come through. And so we'll still, we'll get a really chippy effect that way. I ordinarily I would clean the door and sand you know sand off the loose paint but in this case we also didn't tape it off because the glass is I mean it's been on the side of our house it's pretty gross yeah. so we're going to give it a really good clean with the razor blade like we like to do in the glass cleaner yep I don't know is that glass wavy I don't know if it's original um it's hard to tell with it laying it's on so here. dirty we can't tell if it's got bubbles <laughs> But yeah, so we'll probably, we'll have to redo the shelving in there because right now it's just got like some wire metal shelves that are pretty, I mean, they're very functional, but they're not going to look cool. <laughs> Mark says he looks like he's found his people. Well, I'm glad we can be your people. I'm over here. You can't see me. Hold on. I'm going to move this just a little bit. All right. um, yeah, the paint does spread really well and we're only going to do one coat. That's all we're going to need. Yeah, we're going so chippy with it. It wouldn't well, even matter even if we didn't. It, it's pretty much giving us full coverage, but even if we didn't, it won't matter. Well, and the funny thing is, so this sample size is eight ounces. I already painted two chairs last night with it. Got pretty much full coverage in one coat, and I'm painting this door with one sample. The black covers so well. So if you buy the black paint, it's going to go a long way. So from one eight ounce sample, I painted two doors or two chairs and the store. I'm only going to paint the one side. The, the I mean, side granted, we got this big window on here, so, I mean, a full sample might do a whole door front and back. Somebody says we're doing a whole house reno. I'd like to renovate my basement, but Zeb says I got to... We got to, we got to take, we got to put the brakes on on the house renos. We got to have gotta some... earn some more money. Yeah, we got to make some money first. So, if you guys want to <laughs> see us renovate the basement, I'm going to need y'all to order some paint, tell your friends to order some paint, tell your friends' friends to order some paint at jamierayvintage.com. Really that just way, tell your friends to watch. That would probably <laughs> fix a lot of solutions. That way I can have a little bit more budget because I found the couch that I want, but it isn't really like, it isn't in the budget this right now. This is Jamie's shameless plea. This is Buy my me my couch. This is my <laughs> shameless plug. I really want, we have a huge basement that y'all have never seen and I would love to redo it but we really need a functional couch. It is finished it's just never ever been decorated we threw a couch down there and the kids have been not they've not been kind to that couch. Well and we never go down there because it's not very aesthetically pleasing. So. I mean, nine times out of ten I run down there and Jack or Redrick is laid out on the top of the couch and they've been jumping over it and back and forth. So we'd like to make it a place where it's a little nicer looking because they, they take really good care of our furniture up here. I haven't had any problems with them not following the rules with our new white couch. So I feel like if I make it a nicer place, then they'll take care of it. So that's, that's the next on my agenda. I would really like to redo the basement and show you guys a really functional um, family room, which is, it's going to be less formal, but still the farmhouse style. Oops, let's see if we got any comments. I feel like we're running a tad low on our paint here. Oh, we're both off camera. Oh, where do we go? You can't go stand over on the side and read comments. Yeah, this is somebody asked if this is going to be our pantry door. Yes, Talisha, this is our pantry door. So it mostly fits. I'm going to have to cut along this back edge here. And then about a quarter of an inch is all I need to take off. And height wise, it's about three quarters of an inch short. So I'm just going to leave that gap on the bottom of the door since it's an interior door and it doesn't need to be any kind of soundproof or anything. So that won't matter. So the gap will be fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Why don't we paint in the basement? So we'd have to haul this downstairs. Oh yeah. The basement, there's a, it's a long stairwell. You guys do not want to watch us painting in the basement. It's not very attractive. <laughs> no. And it's, it's not dark. right. <laughs> it needs a lot of lighting. Yeah, in our basement, we currently have a leather couch with holes in it. 
We have the weight bench because Zeb has been working out. And we have a bunch of priority mailboxes and a giant big screen TV. That is, oh, and some ugly chairs that the kids sit in when they play video games. In the, in the corner, in the corner, there is a stack of priority mailboxes. They come in these big cases from the post office. You can just order them like that. And Jack uses them as like a castle and a fort for all these guys. Do you need some more paint, sweet? I don't know, but you're here. Let's, you told let's me switch to, the angle. You on. told me to paint slow, and I'm done. <laughs> it take, I, I have been painting as slow as I can paint. Sorry. I am a fast painter, in case you guys didn't know. Um, this is a little black dress from DIY Paint. I saw somebody asked. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com, and we'll post a link later. Yeah, once I put the description in, it'll be... I always go back on these live videos if you're watching this not live and and put a description in and, and Mark leave says, some things. Mark says that people get the rich people give them a hundred year old furniture all the time. Hey Mark. I think we need to hang out and you know I'll bring my let's trailer. Be, let's be friends, Mark. <laughs> well so we have we'll take you guys along in spring. They do the spring pickup. And if we if we find out about it, because they don't advertise it. We'll go pick up junk on the, when they do it downtown. We can usually get a bunch of cool, like, salvage. Yeah. Are you going to trim this side? Um, no, that's, I mean, uh, yeah, I got to cut that side, so don't paint no, it. No, I just painted it for nothing. <laughs> Overachiever, we'll, we'll call right, it that. Well, We're on the last little drips of I this know, paint. I know, that's side. what I'm saying. We got to save. We, we may not have enough paint to paint that side. That's all right. We're going super chippy. Because Just already... keep, keep with that theme. We're going chippy. Chippy. Chippy doesn't mean you don't cover it. You're going to get your belt. Your be oh, I painted you. I'm in my paint shirt. It's oh. okay. Well, don't paint me. I'm not in my paint shirt. <laughs> I'm in my sweatpants. You guys can't see it, but I'm wearing my sweatpants. It's Saturday. These are her good sweatpants, yeah. not her paint sweatpants. Hey, Sasha from Sweet Pickens has tip. So I don't know if you guys know Sasha from Sweet Pickens. We're really good friends. And we text back and forth. We don't hang out a lot because we both work like a million hours a week. And the other day we were talking about paint. And then she goes, you know what? I was in my good sweatpants and I got paint on them. And I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, I'm not the only one that has good sweatpants. It's kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> but in my case, if the sweatpants don't have paint on them, they are good. What we will do when we're all done with this and we sand it, we're going to seal it. And we're going to use Sweet Pickens Top Coat. Because it is completely matte. Oh, it's been great. We've and been... it will make it that we can clean it, but then it won't be shiny and it'll still look old. Because so I don't we, want it to be shiny. We've been using kind of a lot of sealers lately. Some we sell, some we don't. But really, we just want to find the best product that we like to get the look that we're going for. Yeah. So we'll go through a phase where we're like, hmm, let's try this out. Let's try this out. And Sweet Pickens has been doing the trick right now. Yeah, so anytime we want something top coated, not waxed, and we want it super matte, we go. Should with I show them the yep, gallon? We, we, we can get it in a gallon because we wholesale it. Y'all can. But it, I think it comes in 16 ounce. So is that a quart? That's a quart, I think. Uh, yeah, and it's not super expensive. No, 32 ounces is a quart. 32 ounces is a quart. We did a class last night at the shop and we used the top coat in the class. Do I sell on Etsy? No, I don't sell on Etsy. We just, I sell, just have our um, site. We just have jamierayvintage.com, which is where we sell all the stuff we can mass produce and all the products that we wholesale or we retail. And then all of my furniture, I sell all of it locally. A lot of people didn't realize. A lot of people think I ship because I sell so much. But I sell everything locally. I've shipped two or three pieces of furniture. Well, so. in Utah County and Salt Lake County, where we live at, it's pretty condensed all along this valley. It follows like a ridge of mountains. And I would say there's probably at least a million and a half to two million people within an hour north and an hour south of us. So we have a pretty large buying pool that is available to us. So somebody said, why are we painting it black? And then Jenny said, because it's all about the black. I actually would totally do chippy white. Or I was thinking about doing um, painting pantry door. There's actually a color called pantry door. But we have... So I'll show you guys. We have a hutch that's, well, is this a hutch? I don't know. We have a farmhouse like cabinet. A cabinet is what it yeah, was see this cabinet that's right here? It's painted pantry door and sweet pickings, uh, Sweetie Jane mixed together. And this is where I store like all of my projects. This is my paint cabinet that's like my stuff, staging and all that stuff. And because it's so close to where the pantry door is going, I was like, well, I can't paint it that because then it's just going to be too much of the same color because you can see the door is going to go right there. 
And then if we left it the chippy white, it would be pretty, but it would just kind of blend away. And because we've got the black appliances and we went ahead and did the black hardware and the black faucet, I thought a black door would be good. It'd make it stand out. And we are gonna give it a really good distress with the orbital sander. So the chippy white will come back. It's not gonna be solid. Yeah, it'll it'll have like everywhere where it's chipping you. And I'm probably gonna do a out. white porcelain doorknob, so the doorknob's really gonna pop. It'll be an antique doorknob. I feel like this sideways will be just fine. It just covers that hole up. I mean, I could put like an actual knob or something in there, and then it would be weird, like a double knob. Hang a pretty curtain on the inside. We could do like a floral oh, curtain, yeah. and then. Then I wouldn't have to clean the pantry. If we do a floral curtain, then you guys won't get the pantry video. Maybe we'll just redo this pantry here, guys. So we have, you guys know we have five kids, right? So we have that giant walk-in pantry. Which in the floor plan for the house is originally designed to be the, the laundry room. Yeah, that's supposed to be the laundry room, but we have the laundry room in the basement. And this is what was supposed to just be the pantry, this little tiny situation here. And I have started kind of organizing it. You guys want to see it? I mean, it's still a mess, but... So this right here is the kids' pantry. Sorry for shaking it. And we've got all these like Rubbermaids. The keepers. And I get these on Amazon, three for eleven ninety five. It's a good deal. And I put cereal and snacks in them. And then because I'm lazy, this is how I organize. I have these giant bins that I bought at Walmart, and you can put like all your stuff in them. So the kids just dig it out. The kids anyway. just dump it in there. And they got all their snacks. And like once a week when I go grocery shopping, I just pull the bins out and pull out all the, the stuff that's half eaten or stale. And I put the new snacks in. And this is supposed to be chips and this is cookies, but it gets mixed together. But yeah, so this is just cereal and all the kids stuff. And the other pantry is just like actual food stuff. And then we also have, we have a cold storage room in the basement. So that's where we have all of our like canned goods and stuff what we call it year supply like we have a year supply of food in there we don't really have that much food but that's no. the way better. the way our oldest eats uh <laughs> we, we got like a three week supply so Teresa says it's not being lazy kids are like real pack men they do and our 15 year old all he does is eat 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 like we fed him dinner and then they came up an hour and a half later and had two bowls of cereal he also weighs 200 pounds, so that might be it. He's 6'1", 200 pounds. He eats all the time. Let's see. Uh, Sam's has them three for $8. Well, my Sam's Club didn't have them, unfortunately. That would be awesome. We'll and Walmart check it out. had the Rubbermaid organized the cereal keepers, and they were $7.99 a piece, and they only had one, and I needed like nine, so I just ordered them on Amazon. Frost the door with the... Nobody wants us to organize our pantry. <laughs> if we frost it, I won't have to build cool shelves because no one will be able to see them. But we'll us. think about it. I actually like the idea of a curtain because wouldn't it be so cute to do like a really cute floral fabric? Yeah, that could be cool. We'll see. We'll think about it. If we don't do the pantry, then I could save all that money to redo the basement. So... Put your hands up if you think I should get a new couch and redo the basement. You can't see that. They so. can put, use the emoji. Use the emoji with your hand up if you want to see us redo the basement. Oh, so much work. So probably Monday or Tuesday-ish. I, I can't believe somebody saw these. I don't want to. I don't want to commit a hundred percent. Somebody said they want to see our salt and pepper shaker. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you noticed those. These are from Pioneer Woman, and they came with the, they came with my plate. So if you guys want to see um, like what all came with these, look up the video. It's a Pioneer Woman unboxing. Look, Bree is raising her hand. I can see her hand. Uh -huh. Go to the Pioneer Woman <laughs> unboxing video, and you can see my whole set. I bought new dishes, and it came with this and a butter dish. I'll show you the cute butter dish. Well, she's grabbing the butter dish. Uh, so Monday, Tuesday, I'll have the pantry door up, and I'll show you how I trim it out, and then and we'll sometime in the patch. week, we'll decide what kind of art we're going to do on here, if we just do words or whatever Jamie's going to do on that, so. Look, this is so cute. It keeps the butter so nice and awesome. <laughs> Kimberly's raising her hand. She wants me to redo the basement. They're all raising their hands. Everybody wants to see the basement get redone. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna try to, we'll probably, if we end up doing the basement, I'm gonna build a faux fireplace and try to do that on the cheap so that we can show you guys how to do that it on It won't actually have like an electric fireplace in it. I just wanna do like a brick facade with like candles or mm -hmm. whatever, or like We'll trim it out with slices. like a cool mantle. I've thought about it a lot in my head. 
So I just need to either sell like a bunch of paint on the website or I need to sell a bunch of furniture. And I have been doing a bunch of furniture projects this last week. I did do some bar stools and a hutch that I sold and I taught a class. It'll be coming up. Inevitably, we'll have the basement getting redone and I would say probably in the next, within the next month, it'll be probably well underway if we aren't finished with it. So yeah. stay tuned, keep watching, tell all your friends. <laughs> the channel has been growing like crazy and we really, really appreciate that because that helps us do more projects that are cooler and gives us more time to actually focus on them. So it's awesome. Oh, for sure. All right, so I guess that's it. You guys, we will, I don't know if you guys follow the community, but if you follow me on Instagram, go to Jamie Ray Vintage on Instagram. I do a lot of Insta stories and I put all my photos on there. If you wanna see what this door is gonna look like, I'll probably put a picture in community, but you'll get some behind the scenes of us working on it if you follow me on Insta stories, because on Monday I'll like photograph us or, or videotape us sanding it and hanging it. So yeah. definitely follow. Instagram is where you want to go if you want behind the scenes. You will definitely see that long before I get done editing a video. Yeah. Well, I like Insta <laughs> stories because I just post pictures on there yeah. like without editing them. It's just raw. If you watch Insta stories, you probably could have seen me uh, teaching our son how to drive. Today. I just put a picture. I didn't put the video. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the newest thing that's happened in our house is we have a permitted driver. He's not licensed. He'll be getting his license in it six months. It is a months. good thing he's not licensed. He needs Look a lot of practice. Look at all these people raising their hands. I know. Everybody wants to see the basement. we got to finish the pantry first, and i got to build some right. shelving units for in there. So. All right. Maria to I'm going to not be able to say that name. Maria T. I will look on Instagram and look at your project and let you know what I think. Your husband's sick. Zeb has been sick for like a week, and he's kind of grumpy. A little bit. He, mostly he's grumpy because he's mad that he's still sick. <laughs> I, well, I've been taking medicine for it, so it's like I'm on the verge of being really sick and it's just not going away. And then our son has pneumonia, which he's still trying to get over, and I'm like, if he gave me pneumonia. You don't have pneumonia. <laughs> oh, Tammy says she likes our faucet. It's from Ikea. Do you remember I, which one it's called? No. It's probably stamped. All right, guys. Well, we're going to take off. The door's painted. It should be dry here in the next 15, 20 minutes. I'll make sure to have on the next video when we hang it and things, I'll show you how we sand it, distress it, do all the touch up and get it ready to hang. Comment with any questions you have on any pantry doors that you might be working on or just painting in general. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com and look up all of our paints. We use DIY uh, paint with little black dress and we're going to be sealing it with Sweet Pickens top coat. Um, share this video if you get a chance on your Facebook or whatever social media. Email your friends. <laughs>